when you're here in the main image view, so you have one image, um, you can look at the histogram. Do you see that in the, up in the top right hand corner is the histogram. So the histogram is going to allow you to see the quality of the image. That way you know whether or not it's adjustable and all those kind of things. And to change that view, you're going to use two fingers and touch with two fingers. See that? So I can alter the view. So now I can just look at the information, touch it with two fingers again, just look at the histogram, touch it with two fingers again, and just look at the photograph. So I like to keep the histogram open just so that I can always see what the quality of the information is. Do I have all of the stuff in the dress? That kind of stuff. Um, if you look at the bottom of your page here, you've got uh, different options here. The first one is a thumbnail view of everything, so I can kind of scroll through these images and find myself a photo to look at, and now I can look at this photo. Um, then, if I want to start adjusting the images, uh, that's what the next three uh, icons are for. The first one is to do basic adjustments. So for instance, if I want to change the color temperature, I just simply click on temperature and the color temperature uh, wheel comes up and I simply drag this way to go warm, this way to go cool, and there. And then I click on tent and I do the same thing, find the right tent and temperature. And then I can just kind of scroll through here and all of these are the basic adjustments inside of Lightroom. So basically the What's in the basic adjustments panel over here in Lightroom is right here inside of your mobile experience. So you click on saturation. Do I want it to be oversaturated, undersaturated? Let's just go to there um, and add a little bit more clarity, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so now, a couple things to note as well. If I'm doing exposure, two fingers does something different than one. One just slides the slider, two fingers Watch what happens. If I click with two fingers, now I can see where the hot spots are. I can see where I'm overexposing the images based on, so see back there, it's like, okay, you've totally blown out the background. And so that gives me more information than I have just from going like this. Going like this, I'm kind of adjusting based on what the photo looks like on my device. And as we all know, devices can be brighter or darker, or you can be out in the sun, you know, and so you really don't have good information on a mobile device about final adjustments. So that's why we want the histogram open, and that's why we want to use that two fingers when we're really working on something to make sure we haven't blown something out. That gives us a lot more information as to what those actual tones look like.